YouTube, I'm Jackie Hollywood. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've made one of these. And when I say one of these, I mean a vlog style video talking about my life. Now this video specifically is going to be about cluster headaches. Now, if you don't know what those are, I suggest you pause this video right now and, and Google it, type in cluster headaches. Um, I do have a previous video I recorded back in October of 2019 that has over 20,000 views on it, actually, if you wanna check it out first so that you know exactly what this video is about. So what I recorded back in October 2019 was me having pretty much a mental breakdown because of these cluster headaches. Again, check out what cluster headaches are if you don't know because I don't want you to assume that I just had, you know, a migraine and I was losing my mind. That's not what a cluster headache is. So get educated first before you judge if you're gonna judge. <laughs> um, so I posted a video of me having this mental breakdown. I was crying, I was in tears, I was in so much pain, I was so frustrated, I was so anxious and depressed at the time because I was, I was just suffering. I was suffering and I recorded a video because I wanted other people to A, get educated on what cluster headaches can do to people, just in case you have any friends, family, or loved ones that experience it and you need to kind of know how to be there for them because it's really difficult. Or maybe you experience cluster headaches yourself and you wanted to um, you know, see how someone else experiences it. So I made the video, I was in my Hello Kitty PJs crying, looking a hot mess because I had just had a cluster headache attack a few minutes prior to ma making the video and it took me a lot of strength and courage to post it. I'm not a shy person. I, you know, don't, I don't mind making fun of myself or posting crazy videos of myself or anything like that, as you can tell um, if you follow me on social media, but that one was so personal to me. That one was so vulnerable. I've never posted anything to that extent. So the fact that I did, um, I did it for you. I didn't, really do it for me. I mean, maybe a little bit for me, kind of like therapy, but the reason I made it public is so that other people can get some kind of benefit or education from it. I didn't think much of it. I honestly thought maybe 200 people would watch it and I'd help one or two people. And honestly, that was enough for me. Even if I helped one person, I'd be like extremely proud of myself and happy. Um, but it's since had over 20,000 views and so many comments. I get comments on that video every single day. I'm not even exaggerating. I wake up, check my email, just like everyone else on this planet. I grab my phone as soon as I wake up, bad habit. Um, I check my email and every single day I have at least one comment on that video from a different person, sometimes multiple. And what else happen has been happening is that I get a lot of messages on Instagram. People, you know, find me on Instagram and send me a DM and say, you know, either thank you for posting that, that was really brave of you, or they say, you've really helped me because you mentioned this, this, and this, and I tried it. Um, or, you know, sometimes they ask me for advice and they say they're suffering and they want to end their life. And they say, how, you know, what did you do? Um, give me more tips than you did in the video. And I'm always, always, always going to reply to every single person that reaches out because this is a very serious thing. So many people end their lives because of cluster headaches and it's not well known in the world. It's not talked about enough um, because there's no cure for them. People are just in pain sometimes for years and years and years until they decide they don't want to deal with it anymore. So it is a serious subject. So um, the reason I'm making this video now is to update you because I've had a lot of people ask me how I'm doing now, which is very nice. Thank you for caring and wondering. Um, wondering how I'm doing and you know where I am now. It is 2021, we're in May. So it's been, uh, what, a year and a half or so since I posted that traumatic video. I wanted to delete it so many times and I never did. I just kept it up because, because of how many people it's helped. So I, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. Um, so here's an update on me and my life and my cluster headaches. <laughs> so luckily, I mean, knock on wood, I'll just knock on this screen. Um, that's not wood, but you know. Luckily, I have not had a cluster headache attack since after I made that video. It's almost like I made it and the universe said, thank you for sharing your experience. We're gonna leave you alone now for, for at least a while. Um, so, well, I did have a few after that video, but November, basically like a few weeks after that video, I stopped having them and Normally I would get these attacks once a year like clockwork in the fall. So 
I was expecting to get one in the fall of 2020, especially during this pandemic when, you know, I'm, I was extremely stressed out and, and, you know, just like everyone else. And I thought, oh, now they're going to hit even harder because I'm so, you know, worried about stuff and um, stress never helps in any health situation, does it? So I was like basically looking at my clock and looking at the calendar waiting for, for them to attack. And they didn't like it, it just didn't come. I had little shadows of it, like almost like a, a reminder that, that they are there or that they could be there, but it was never big enough to actually be considered like an actual cluster headache attack. So I just wanted to share with you some things that I've done. Um, I don't want to say to prevent them because I don't actually know. And even science doesn't actually know doctors don't know what, it is that actually starts them or stops them. It's a very strange phenomenon. So I'm going to share with you some things that I've done in my life, lifestyle changes or things that I've tried that could potentially be a reason that I don't have them or have not had them. So I'm not a doctor. Don't take this at, you know, face value. I'm just sharing my experience. So the first thing I did, um, was, and I talked about this in my last video in 2019 was of course, mushrooms and LSD. Um, every time I had an attack, I would take some and I'm not going to go through the whole story of, of, you know, my experience with psilocybin and those hallucinogenics because I talked about that in my last video. Um, but they usually helped. I would say 95% of the time I would take it. I would trip out, didn't like it, not my thing, but it would stop the attack. Now, the last time I did it back in 2019, um, acid, it, it didn't help because the next day I had another cluster headache. So I was freaking out thinking that like hallucinogenics don't help me anymore. I don't know if I needed to take more, if I needed to do it two days in a row or, you know, it's not, it's not black and white. So I didn't know what to do. One of my friends though, who, um, she comes from a, an Asian background, an Asian culture, Vietnamese culture. And she was telling me about this ancient, Chinese, Vietnamese, or I don't know what other countries, I don't want to get it wrong, but an ancient uh, Asian tradition called Gua Sha, which I have heard of before and I knew about, but I never had it done to me. And what it is, I'll try to explain it as best I can, is you basically take a scraping tool. It could be made out of metal or like, I think jade or some other type of stone or tool. (laughs) Um, And you scrape your affected areas, um, and she used tiger bomb, which is one of my favorite things in the world. And to scrape, she just actually used the lid of the tiger bomb to use it as a scraping tool. If you need to pause this and go look at what gua sha actually is so you can kind of get a better understanding because I'm me explaining it is probably not doing it that much justice. Um, but she scraped my neck and my back, obviously not my, my head because that's not, that's not really a place that you can do that. But my neck, uh, my shoulder area and my whole back until it looked raw red and i mean it looked so painful to the outsider but it actually didn't hurt me it felt like a deep tissue massage so if you've gotten a deep tissue massage that's basically how it feels right so um i'll throw up some pictures here so you can see what that process looks like again it's not torture it doesn't really hurt it just feels like a lot pressure and it feels good actually like that you sometimes you just need that massage right So all the little red dots that you see, that's not bruising or anything like that. That's just um, little tiny little blood vessels that pop because, you know, of all the pressure after like three days, it's gone. Right. So it's not bruised. It doesn't hurt the next day or anything like that. Um, it, it looks like it does, but it does not. And it goes away very soon. I know it can be a little crazy to walk outside when you can see your neck like that and you may look like you've been abused or something. And it can be a little bit weird, but wear a scarf or whatever you have to do to, to, um, make sure that you still get this done. Cause I think it's very valuable. And after she did that for me, I, you know, I don't want to say I was skeptical, but I was like, look, nothing's working for these cluster headaches. I don't know if this is going to work. I might as well try it. Um, I woke up the next day and I was fine. Like I didn't have a headache anymore. I didn't have a cluster headache. And I don't know for sure if that is the sole thing that helped me. But it's, it, I mean, fact of the matter is I didn't have one the next day. Um, so just, just a few days ago, actually, I got it done again because I felt like a tiny shadow. So my friend came over again, shout out Marilyn, and she, she did it for me. All, I think all of the, it's all gone by now. 
Yeah. Oh my God. It was so, it was so red and purple, but, um, it's gone now. It, it went away really fast. So, uh, yeah, she did it for me again just recently. And again, no cluster headaches. Um, another thing that I've done. So anyways, I just want to say that, like, check that out and, and try to get that done. If you're suffering, it might work. Another thing that I have uh, changed in my life is I've been drinking a lot more water, right? I don't really know if that correlates. I know it does help for regular migraines and headaches to stay hydrated. Don't know about cluster headaches, but you know, the truth is I've been drinking a lot more water. I've been forcing myself. Let me show you. Um, I'm drinking one of these now every day. This, this measures at half a gallon. So I used to never drink this much water and now I do every single day. So I feel like my body's hydrated and my body feels healthy. And that is definitely something that I recommend. Um, another thing that I started doing as well is let me grab it. Um, this thing it's called posture, right? And it looks like this. You can get it on Amazon or some website. It's by neck orthotic ink. And what this is, is you basically put this on the floor. Um, I use a towel over it just so it's not that hard so you can do that as well you lay on the floor with this side out and you put your neck over it as you lay flat so this puts a groove into your neck and gives it that curve back so the reason i started doing that is because i've had mris done on my neck because i have some bulging discs in my neck that are very painful and I've done some MRIs and it actually shows that I lost the curve. Your, your neck is supposed to have a bit of a curve in it. That's normal. Mine is pretty much straight, which is not good. So the, you know, doctor chiropractor recommended that I um, try to put the curve back in my neck. So I lay on that for about 10 minutes every day. You can start small five minutes a day and then gradually go up until you get to 10 or 15, whatever's comfortable. It feels a bit weird at first cause it's unnatural, but, um, Honestly, it really, it really does help with that curve. I've actually stopped having as much neck pain and I do also go to the chiropractor weekly. Now I know that can get expensive. Chiropractors aren't cheap. Oh my gosh, my hair is going crazy. Um, <laughs> chiropractors aren't cheap, but it's well worth the money. Uh, maybe you can work out some kind of deal with your local chiropractor. I go to a place called The Joint, which um, is very affordable. It is, it's so cool. You basically have a membership. It's like a gym and you just show up and you swipe your little key card and then the doctor takes you no appointments necessary. And um, I pay like less than $80 a month and you get four visits, right? So I go every week. So it's basically $20 a visit. And a lot of chiropractors, at least here in California, will charge $80 or more for one visit. So shout out to the joint because they um, are so affordable. And that's the only reason that I'm able to go. So chiropractics, uh, neck exercises, lots of water and gua sha. I also don't go to sleep as late as I used to. I used to stay up till two, three in the morning every night because I just really liked watching TV late at night. And especially if I didn't have to wake up early the next day, because my jobs are so random and remote that sometimes I would just stay up super late and, um, and then wake up really late. So I've changed that as well. I'm not, uh, I'm not able to go to sleep super early. That's just my, my natural body clock doesn't want to do that, but I'm at least in bed. I try to be in bed like before midnight every night now so that I don't stay up watching TV all night, you know, with my, my eyes focused on this bright light. Um, and honestly, I get, I know this isn't, this isn't uh, attainable for a lot of people who have job early jobs or whatever, but, or kids or something, but I do get like nine to 10 hours of sleep a night. I know some people are going to say that's insane. I can only get five or six hours, but luckily I have the, you know, the luxury or the time to sleep a lot right now. Um, I didn't always with certain jobs that I had, but right now I do because I work from home. Um, and that is amazing. I love sleep. I need it. If your body feels like it needs it sleep, you guys, like I know people say I'll sleep, you sleep when you die or like I have way too many things to do. I don't sleep as a waste of time. That's so not true, man. That's like, that's crazy talk. If your body is not well rested, it will have health problems. It will be in pain. It will suffer. You will have wrinkles and you will die early. Okay. So sleep. Don't listen to that BS about you got to constantly work hard and don't worry about sleeping wrong. I'm here to tell you that is wrong. I know you got to work. I know you got to make your money and make your living. I know some people have to take care of their kids or their pets or their parents or whatever, completely get it. But when it's time to go to sleep, 
turn everything off and go to sleep, okay? Stop scrolling on TikTok. I know it's hard. I do the same thing. So that is basically what I've been doing for the last year and a half. And I feel much better. Of course, I get the occasional headache or migraine. Um, I do uh, monthly umgality shots. I just stick a needle in my thigh um, for those. I don't know if those help with cluster headaches at all. They might for some people. I only started doing it like three months ago, so it's a fairly new thing. But I thought, hey, I'll just upkeep my headaches with these shots. I still get headaches sometimes. I have a slight one right now, probably because this ring light is so bright, it's driving my eyes crazy. Um, but my migraines aren't as bad or as long as they used to be before the shots. I used to also get Botox injections, um, Botox for migraines. So if your doctor offers that wherever you live, you should ask about that. Um, they do Botox in the forehead and then around the head area and in the back of the neck. So I would say about like 30 injections of Botox. Um, and then I think you do that every three months or so, I believe. Um, and that actually seemed to help me a little bit too. I stopped doing those just because I started doing emgality and I didn't want to do too many things at once. But hey, at the end of the day, you get free Botox in your forehead if your insurance covers it. So it's not a bad shout. Um, so yeah, that's it. I don't want to make this too, too long. I appreciate you being here and, you know, asking me how I've been. And I really just want to say I am sending all of you good vibes. If you are suffering with cluster headaches or if you have a friend or family member or loved one who's suffering with cluster headaches and you don't know how to be there for them, all I can say is they they don't need you to fix it because you can't. They just need moral support. So just stay with them. If they say they want to be left alone, leave them alone. If they say they need a hug, give them a hug. Like you just have to be there for them because it's really hard and I'm lucky enough to have had support from you know family friends and loved ones um during my hard times i'm gonna cry <laughs> um no i'm not gonna get emotional but yeah so that's it um thank you for watching if you have any any questions about cluster headaches or what i've been doing um to you know try to prevent them leave me a comment below or find me on social media um instagram twitter at jackie hollywood also check out my tiktok might as well promote that at it's jackie hollywood um, I do a lot of celebrity gossip and pop culture talk on there, so you will enjoy that if you're into that kind of stuff. All right, have an amazing day, and thank you all.